Load your guns, Guardian. The Scion has discovered the truth behind the Hive's plans. They're vying for control of the Scarlet Keep on the moon. The Lucent Hive want to take it from Zebu Arath's forces and claim it for themselves. They're using their stockpiled light, taken from dead Guardians, and trying to manifest Sabathun's throne world. If they're successful, they'll launch a full-scale invasion of Earth. This was their plan from the beginning. Take our home, corrupt our planet, overrun us, remove us from the universe. And when we are gone, forgotten, they will become the Guardians. Go to the Scarlet Keep. Summoning the throne world will take an elaborate ritual. Stop it. Keitel has pledged her full support and is already approaching the moon with her forces. Let that be the last thing these hives see. Unity in the face of oblivion. Show them that even if they destroy us, they will never destroy who we are. I'm counting on you, young wolf. The Lucent Hive are attempting to retake the Witch Queen's position on your moon. Transporting an invasion force of this size must require a massive Hive ritual. Crow, do you have eyes on the ritual? Crow, do you read me? Damn it. Push forward without him. We can't split our focus while the Lucent Hive are staging an invasion. Looks like the Hive saw us coming. Without Crow's recon, we're flying blind. My Scions report an energy surge up ahead. It must be the Hive ritual we seek. Good. Let's crush the ritual, bag their leader, and shut down this invasion. This must be the ritual that Keitel Scions reported. Those receptacles are focusing their stolen light. Bring down their tribute bearers and disrupt the portal. Once we halt the reinforcements, we'll chop the head off this snake. His crow confirmed. Is that our target? He's still missing. My scions confirm. Target acquired. Engage, but do not destroy, Guardian. Once my warriors send you into the mindscape, you may be as brutal as you wish. Well done. The invasion is halted. For now. A feat made possible by the Guardian and my psionic warriors, who have proven their worth yet again. When the Lucent Hive make their next move, the Vanguard and the Empire will stop it. Together. Let's not put the tongue before the tusk, small man. Trust is still being built. But for today, at least, I am happy to share a victory. Someone needs to track down Crow. I'll see you back at the tower. Crow, what happened? I didn't mean to. A full abort sequence initiated from this location. What have you done? I... I shut it down. I didn't know it would kill the Scion. Keitel sends an emissary to the tower, and you kill him. Can you even understand the repercussions this will have? I'll face them. What the Vanguard was doing here wasn't right. It's not your place to judge! You said the right path can be hard to find, but when you do, you have to be strong enough to walk it. I also said mercy to an enemy must not come at the cost of their victims. We already disrupted Savathun's ritual on the moon. I couldn't stand by while we did this to these Hive. The Hive are monsters. So was I. When Keitel learns of this, I hope the Vanguard can survive your conscience. Understand, don't you?
Crow, how do you justify the innocent blood on your hands? It was honorable. It was an accident. A cabal word for accident has two syllables. One is fault, the other responsibility. Honor the scion whose life was taken. A life for a life, that is our way. That is your way, not ours. You will not deny us justice. Do what you believe is right. I did. I will honor you. You demand a life for a life. Take mine. Cabal reward bravery in the face of death. I accept. Your life is forfeit. You will serve the rest of your days on my war council as Brockus Forge. Then it's done. Zavala, you can't not a word. I suppose you're here to say goodbye, eh, young wolf? Or to demand to know why? Because I chose to. I saw you fighting alongside Keitel's warriors on the moon. A strong alliance. The Vanguard needs it now more than ever before. But Zavala... I also saw the look in his eyes. He would have thrown it all away to protect one of his people. And for a time, he would have believed that was mercy. I'm starting to think people don't really listen to my stories. I was given a wish once, and I chose to fight a dragon, because we are what we survive. I will serve this alliance. My shoulders have borne more weight than this. My honor holds its luster through deeper stains. If this is the cost of tomorrow for the Vanguard, I will gladly pay it. Keitel stayed her hand when I placed myself at her mercy. Because she chose to. That I can respect. I told Keitel she'd have to kill me to keep me from the Iron Banner. She said that wouldn't be necessary. In fact, she has a few ideas of her own. This may prove interesting. I left something in the helm for Crow. If he's half as smart as he thinks he is, he'll understand what it means. Until our paths cross again, young wolf. It's over, Guardian. The Lucent Brood will never take the Scarlet Keep, and their invasion forces in shambles. I'm grateful Saladin stepped in when he did. He preserved the Cabal Alliance without bloodshed. I'm afraid I was about to do something... rash. All these centuries later, and Saladin is still saving me for myself. I decommissioned the Psychic Analysis Program, against Keitel's recommendations. I suggested she continue to collect the dead Hive lieutenants for incineration, but that seemed to put her mind at ease. She's been true to her word, Crow's life debt is paid. Our coalition is back on solid ground. I have my reservations. But Saladin believes this is the best path forward. The Scion is avenged in the eyes of the Cabal. A gift that I assure you is not lost on the Empress. Most importantly, humanity finally has a voice on her war council. We must respect Saladin's choice.
died for something I believed in. You lack the self-awareness to know what you believe in. What? I... Your mind is a storm of guilt, both your own and someone else's. We put a gun in your hand and told you who we wanted you to be. And now you're struggling to reconcile a lifetime of Aldrin Sov's experience with only a few years of your own. We all die a final death. Yours was not meant to be today. I was wrong about you, Saladin. I'm so sorry. I respect you for sticking to your convictions, but let this be another lesson. Doing what you believe is right, as you have, as I have, doesn't absolve you from the consequences of those actions. Someone must always pay the price.